On the occasion of the manifesto release of the Meghalaya 2023, we are sitting on the dais of a very dynamic and uh, very active state president, Sri Arnest Mauriji, our national secretary and the in charge of Meghalaya and Northeastern area. Sri Ritra Sinaji, our candidate from 19th, 19th South Shillong, and a senior leader and a former minister, Sri Sanagor Shulaiji, my colleague and former minister, Sri A.L. Hegji, who is the convener of the Election Management Committee, and uh, Himalaya Sham Paliyangji, the co convener of the Manifesto Committee respected members of the dais and uh, the friends from the media, print media and electronic media, and the leaders who represent the various fields and who are the leaders in their own field, uh, the members of in the present here in the August gathering, and their friends. It is indeed a, an opportunity for me to release the manifesto of uh, Meghalaya 2023, uh, which we have just now released, which we have said as Empowerment Meghalaya. And when we say Empowerment Meghalaya, we have always emphasized the M in bold capital letters. That means Modi for Meghalaya. So Meghalaya and Modi, we have to see to it that under the dynamic leadership of Prime Minister Modi, we have tried to see to it, and which we will discuss also when I will be talking to the uh, representatives of the uh, various sections of the society about the development and the investment and the support which the Prime Minister Modi has given. But on this occasion of the release of the manifesto, I would like to share with you that first of all, Meghalaya is a state which is rich in culture, traditions, and a beautiful state, and has got a lot of potential, which has been not rightly utilized <coughs> till date. So there is a lot to be done, and there is a lot of scope to be done which we would like to see to it that in coming times we take the Meghalaya forward under the leadership of Bharti Janata Party. When I say so, I find that there is a competition now which has started taking place among the northeastern states for development. And Meghalaya also is trying to see to it to cope up with it. But here, the corruption has been an issue which has been a hindrance as far as the development is concerned. So, as I said yesterday that we would like to see that Meghalaya is a corruption-free state and that is what we would like to work for. And at the same time, we need a strong Meghalaya. And strong Meghalaya is possible with strong BJP. So, this is what we would like to see. And here again I would like to emphasize that Meghalaya, capital M, Meghalaya, empowerment, capital M, Modi, capital M, this is needed for Meghalaya, as you have to understand. If we want to go forward, we visualize Meghalaya as a mega Meghalaya. We have to think big. And for thinking big, we have to see to it that speed, 
scale and skill. All three has to be balanced and matched. And with this intention, we are trying to see Meghalaya. When I talk about the highlights of the manifesto, I would like to share with you a few uh, issues. First of all, we all know that uh, uh, the state machinery is a very important instrument as far as bringing change in the, in the state. And for that, the state machinery is very important. Here, we have decided in our manifesto that we will implement the seventh pay commission in Meghalaya and the salaries of the employees will be dispersed in time so that the machinery is well greased and it is in the best possible manner that they are able to work. The same way we plan in Meghalaya that the agriculturists, the horticulturists are the prime concern for Bharatiya Janata Party and for the development of Meghalaya because a lot of scope is there in the field of horticulture, in the field of agriculture, in the field of natural farming, in the field of uh, uh, farming without pesticides and without uh, 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 the other uh, pesticides. So, when we talk about Kisan Samman Nidhi, we have decided that we will enhance by 2,000 rupees annually in the 6,000 rupees which we are already getting. The women needs to be empowered. The child needs to be empowered. And for that, we have decided that we'll start and introduce a program which will be known as Kafan Noglite Scheme. And this is named in the, after the first freedom fighter from the Khasi Hills. And under this scheme, when the girl child will be born, a bond of rupees 50,000 will be provided to the girl child. The same way, we will, for the empowerment of the women, we will provide free education to female, to girl child, from kindergarten, KG to PG, postgarden. We will also launch a scheme called as Jogi Sirchi, a support scheme. And in this support scheme, a financial assistance of 24,000 annually to all dependent widows and single mothers. So those who are deprived, those who are widows, those who are single mothers, for them, we have tried to see to it that their empowerment should be there and they should be brought into the mainstream. And that, uh, that is why we have decided. Another aspect which we have decided is that we will be giving annually two LPG gas cylinders to the people, to the beneficiaries who are benefited out of the Ujjula Yojana, that is also we have decided. As far as the youth is concerned, we have decided that we will go in a big way for the youth skill development. And for that, skill training uh, structure will be created where 3.5 lakh means 3 lakh 50,000 self-employment opportunities by setting up of two new uh, SCZs and industrial area units and one additional IT park and banking and hospitality uh, industries over the next five years. Special economic zone will be developed and in this special economic zone for the youth empowerment, we will have industrial units, we will have additional IT park, and we will have banking and hospital hospitality industries for the next five within next five years. We will launch a scheme which will be known as Karnesh Marak Youth Support Scheme. And in this scheme, we will be giving a monthly financial assistance of one thousand to unemployed graduates for a period of one year 
so that they can sustain themselves and go forward in their own employment and security. We will provide free rice, wheat and dal along with edible oils, sugar and salt at a subsidized rate to all the eligible beneficiaries of the PDS system. This is the empowerment of the common man which we have planned to go forward. We will double the pension for the senior citizens to rupees 1000 per month. We will double the pen for the poor, for the handicaps, for the widowers, for the widows. We have decided that we will be giving, that we will be doubling the pension of them. We will double per family annual insurance cap. Here I talk, would like to talk about health also. You see, we have got a scheme which is called as Aishman Bharat. And in this scheme, we are giving an annual health coverage of 5 lakh rupees to the people who belong to the poor section of the society, from the marginal section of the society. And this is not caste-based. It is profession-based, which is known as Ayushman Bharat. And for that Ayushman Bharat, the annual health coverage is 5 lakh rupees. Here we have decided that we'll, we'll, we will increase it, we will double it, now it will be 10 lakh rupees per annual The same way, we will establish medical colleges in different regions of Meghalaya. Uh, Prime Minister Modi has given emphasis to education and especially medical education and we have decided that every Lok Sabha should have in coming times one medical college. So in different locations we will be trying to set up medical colleges and go forward in that direction which we would like to share with you. Uh, again, we will have a 100% coverage of Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana. That means in Meghalaya, nobody will reside in Kacha Makan. All will have Pakka Chhat and Pakka Makan with two rooms, with two rooms, along with washroom, along with kitchen, along with gas connection. All this will, and along with the courtyard. So this will be the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, 100% coverage that we will ensure. We will construct a task force to check the illegal mining and we will promote scientific mining that we would like to share with you. As far as the specific sectors are concerned, in coordination and conjunction with the central government, we will try to resolve the Meghalaya and the Assam border issue and establish permanent outposts. You see, we believe in dialogue. We are not it's not Bharat Pakistan. It is Assam and Meghalaya. So through dialogue, we will try to see to it, and with the support of the central government, we will see to it and resolve all the border issues and permanent outposts will be established. We will be giving a financial assistance of 3,000 rupees per year under Mukhi Mantri Landless Farmer Scheme to all landless farmers. As we have decided that the for the last mile delivery and to the support of the person who is, who is at the last pedestal as far as the financial part is concerned, so for them we will be giving a support of three thousand rupees annually uh, for the, uh, under the uh, financial assistance per year under the Mukhya Mantri Landless Scheme. That is what we are going to go for. We will be providing an annual financial assistance of 6,000 rupees to all fishermen uh, on the income support scheme. So all fishermen will be also given, like we are giving Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi, for the fishermen also we will be giving annually a support of 6,000 rupees. We will empower women by Bartha Gyad Yekes Dakar scheme to distribute free scooty to all meritorious college-going female students financially weak household. We will provide 33% reservation for women in government jobs in Meghalaya. To empower the youth, we will establish 
Meghalaya Combined Recruitment Commission to expedite the filling of the vacancies across various departments. We will establish a Sanja Manda Sangma canteens providing locally made nutritious meals for only rupees 5 per plate. So common man can have a good nutritious food which we are going to do. We will double the pension of the senior citizens up to rupees 1000 per month to ensure that there are no delays in the disbursement that also will be ensured. I have talked about the highlights but here I also I would like to share with you in the end that we will establish a special task force under a retired Supreme Court judge to investigate all cases of corruption in the So, I'll try to narrate the salient features of the uh, manifesto of 2023 Meghalaya. Yesterday, I got the opportunity to uh, talk about the manifesto of Nagaland. And before that, I got the opportunity to present the uh, manifesto and the vision document of Tripura uh, a few days back last week. I would like to share with you, here I have not added, because we have not been really in the governance, but there in Nagaland also and in uh, Tripura also, we came out with a report card. And in that report card we said, that what we said, we did it. And I narrated each point what we had said in the vision document. And again, additionally, I said, we did what we did say also. And that also I narrated. I'm saying this because here in Meghalaya, give us an opportunity. We are a party which means delivery, which means serious about the manifesto. It's not a just document which is which we, we we read once and and forget it. And next after next five years we come up with an, another fresh document. No, we don't do like that. For us, any manifesto, any vision document which we make, if we come into the governance, we make it an official document of the governance, and it is the government's responsibility to implement letter and spirit in total. Hundred percent, it has to be. That's how it so, and that is how we work when we say that we will enhance the Ayushman Bharat from 5 lakh rupees annually to 10 lakh rupees. We have worked out the financial part of it. When we say that we will increase, double the pension from 500 to 1000, we have worked out. When I say that we will be giving free scrutiny, it does not mean that we are, we are, we are, uh, we are saying just without doing a, any arithmetic. A detailed study is being done how much financial support we needed, how we will get that financial support, and then we come out with a vision document or a manifesto. So, I would like to share with you, no political party makes you remember what they had promised five years back. But it is Bharti Jinta Party which always makes you remember that this was our promise, this we had done, this we had not promised, but still we have done, this we promised, we will do it again, we will do it again. That is all. Friends, you have given me a very patient hearing. Thank you very much. And uh, I hear that I will read this uh, document of uh, manifesto 2013. Thank you very much. Thank you.